multiple media figures have come out claiming a Devontae Adams to the Jets trade is imminent, including one media figure who is a good friend of Raiders head coach Antonio Pierce. But Devontae Adams camp finally came out and addressed these rumors head on. My name is Wi-Fi Willie. I am itching, breaking out in hives right now. Let's see if I can get this done before the Benadryl kicks in. Four things happen that cause people to believe that a Devontae Adams trade to the Jets is imminent. First, the new Netflix series Wide Receiver premiered. It dropped in July. This series covered Devontae Adams' frustration with the Raiders in 2023, mainly Josh McDaniels and quarterback Jimmy Garoppolo. And you have clips like these where he says he wants to get out. I gotta get the f out of here before I lose my life. I ain't never been hit this many times in my career. Every game I get f***ed up. Even though this was recorded when Josh McDaniels was still the head coach, Jimmy Garoppolo was still the quarterback, people still saw this frustration by Devontae Adams and came away with the impression that he would like to leave the Raiders. While promoting this series in interviews, Devontae Adams even said that Aaron Rodgers is actively recruiting him. Are you telling me he's not getting your ear and saying, hey, I want to play with you again? Oh, he's in that ear, that's for sure. <laughs> He's in he's in the ear, but um, you know it's it's not as it's not as easy as it. Obviously, we can get together and talk about the the old times and potential of doing this and that. But like I said, I'm a Raider, so and he knows that. So so he mentioned that his friend tries to recruit him, but maintain that he's a Raider. However, this next thing made more people think a trade is coming soon. And this was the viral clip of Aaron Rodgers being asked about Devonte Adams and how his new offensive coordinator Luke Getzey will use him. Keep in mind, Luke Getzey did work with the Green Bay Packers while Aaron Rodgers and Devontae Adams were there. And instead of talking about any of that, all Rodgers talks about is reuniting with Devontae Adams. You think uh, Luke Getze is going to utilize Devontae Adams good in the new Raiders offense? I love Luke Getze. He's a fantastic coach. Awesome. And I love Devontae. I can't wait to play with him. Awesome. Again. Great. Rogers saying, I can't wait to play with Devontae Adams again. That was pretty shocking for people to hear, coupled with the fact that you already had all these rumors in the air. And now you have Aaron Rodgers toying with the media saying, hey, I can't wait to play with him again, making it seem like it might happen soon. Then right after that Aaron Rodgers statement, you had Jets running back Brees Hall talk as if Devontae Adams to the Jets is already a done deal. I mean, are you going to be competing with touches of Devontae? Nah, I'm, I'm getting the ball the second most of guards. <laughs> I, uh, uh, Devontae, he knows he's going to get his, but I'm definitely going to be. I'm sorry. Is Devontae a Jet? Hey, you never know. You never know. We're always talking. We're always scheming. We're, listen. Brees Hall saying Devontae knows he's going to get his. He is talking as if Devontae Adams is already on the team. And that is what made people think, whoa, is a trade before training camp or the regular season imminent? This caused the NFL media machine to go hard with these rumors. Chad Ochocinco, who has a podcast with Shannon Sharp and is also good friends with head coach of the Raiders, Antonio Pierce. He made a comment on Twitter thinking about this trade. Tay Adams to the Jets, cloud emoji. And like a lot of you, I thought that was a smoke emoji by Ocho Cinco, but it was a thought balloon emoji. You had a friend of the Raiders head coach thinking about this trade possibility. Former temporarily Raiders wide receiver Randy Moss and NFL analyst also encouraged Devontae Adams to seek a trade and go to the Jets. The, the Raiders, I mean, hell, they're in the same division with the Kansas City Chiefs, so I don't see a ring in their near future. Huh. So if, if, if he needs to chase a ring and get out of there, I mean, what would he look like back with Aaron Rodgers, what would that look like? Now, Randy. Huh? Not only did Randy Moss diss the Raiders here, but he also made it seem like a trade could be going down soon. Former quarterback and NFL analyst Boomer Esiason also wrote that he thinks a Devontae Adams to the Jets trade is coming soon. If it does happen, it's going to happen in late August or early September. He made it sound like it's going down. And then you had a more wild TV rumor about Aaron Rodgers joining the Raiders next year. This was coming from Palexico Burris. Raiders head coach Antonio Pierce's former teammate with the New York Giants and his friend. This guy thinks that's more likely. Super Bowl or bust for the Jets, we know that. There's more of a chance that he'll end up in Vegas with that man number 17 and Antonio Pierce because there's a one-year deal left with the Jets than Devontae Adams picking up and leaving and coming to and the Jets. Now, I do not think the Jets are going to let Aaron Rodgers walk out the door, but it is true that if the Jets don't get to a Super Bowl, this season will be considered a failure for them, and that could lead to them totally rebuilding and shaking things up. But the television clip that caused Devontae Adams' camp to respond to all these trade rumors, the one that went way too 
too far was from Dan Orlovsky on ESPN. Yeah, I think Devontae Adams plays for the Jets this season. One, the only reason it wouldn't happen, Greeny, is if he would feel bad about leaving Antonio Pierce, their new head coach. That's the only reason. Antonio will be fine. He'll be fine. This was pretty intense. You have an ESPN analyst on television saying he thinks this trade is going to happen, and the only thing stopping it is Devontae not wanting to hurt Antonio Pierce's feelings. And although he did clarify this by saying he thinks, he thinks a trade could be happening, the fact that Dan Orlovsky's on television is going to cause fans to think that there's some meat on the bone, that these are serious trade reports. One, the Raiders don't matter until they get a quarterback. I don't care what anybody says. So you, at some point, you got to try to go get a quarterback. This is one angle that did make a trade of Devontae Adams seem a little more realistic. Unless Aiden O'Connell or Gardner Minshew absolutely takes off, the Raiders are going to be looking in the NFL draft for a quarterback next year. And Devontae Adams, a year from now, is going to be less valuable on the trade market than if the Raiders were going to trade him right before the start of the 2024 season. And also the fact that the Jets are so desperate for Devontae Adams because Aaron Rodgers runs the show there. The Raiders could probably get more value out of Adams compared to any other team because Aaron Rodgers desperately wants to reunite with Devontae Adams. However, it was really this last statement that I think just made it so Devontae Adams' camp had to respond. Silence was not going to be possible. I think this is a done deal. At some point, Devontae Adams plays for the Jets this season. So within the same day of that clip going viral, Orlovsky saying it's a done deal. Devontae Adams agents sent a statement to NFL insider Adam Schefter saying that the recent trade talk surrounding their client Devonte Adams is baseless unfounded speculation and Devonte is expected to be with the Raiders as there has been absolutely no trade talk period. So it seems quite clear that because all these rumors are in the air which really started with the Netflix receiver show but reached I think a tipping point with Aaron Rodgers saying that statement that caused that clip to go viral saying he can't wait to play with Devonte Adams again and Jets players acting like it's imminent NFL reporters acting like it's imminent this all made it so where Devonte Adams agents had to clarify that there's been absolutely no trade talk period so this should mean that Devonte Adams will be with the Raiders week one of the regular season there are no trade talks right now but I did think that one part of the statement sounded a little weird they said Devonte is expected to be with the Raiders Devonte is expected to be with the Raiders why couldn't the agents just say Devonte Adams is going to play for the Raiders for the 2024 season instead it's that they expect him to be with the Raiders for the 2024 season but I also don't think that agents would have put out this statement unless Devonte Adams was was certainly going to play for the Raiders week one. That would look really bad if he was suddenly traded now. Although things could change by the trade deadline if the Raiders have a losing record and the Jets still desperately need a wide receiver. It is actually financially feasible for the Raiders to trade Devontae Adams this year. According to OverTheCap.com and A to Z Sports, a trade is possible where the Raiders save $17.5 million in 2024 but have some dead money hits. This would be a post-June 1st trade if it happened right now and the Raiders would only eat $7.85 million in 2024 and $15.9 million in 2025. That's it. And they could spread 2025 over two years. So they basically have a dead money hit of $7.85 million for this year, next year, and 2026. That does not mean it's expensive to trade Devontae Adams. If anything, it means it's possible and the Raiders actually save money. The main reason why this is possible is because this contract year is the last year of Devontae Adams deal with the Raiders that has guaranteed money. After this year, they have to either restructure or let the man and go anyways because he's going to be making nearly 44 million dollars in cap space with no dead money hit if they move on from him but for now the Raiders have signaled that Devontae Adams is not available for a trade Tom Telesco the Raiders new general manager made this clear in February of 2024 but we know that these GMs and coaches don't always tell the truth, but now it's looking more like he was being real the whole time. And the Raiders have a new head coach that Devontae Adams did sign off on, so obviously he's going to want to see how this season plays out with the Raiders. Crosby Adams, those were the two guys that vouched the most for Pierce. 
So that would also look really bad if Devontae Adams dipped out on the coach that he vouched for. This statement is also Devontae Adams' camp not putting the onus and burden on them in case a trade happens where Devontae Adams leaves for the New York Jets. He's trying to say this is not me doing this. If it does happen, it's just the people around me, mainly the Jets and the Raiders. And that is the truth. This trade will only happen if the Raiders want it to happen. And that is because Devontae Adams does not have any kind of no trade clause in his contract. But for now, it seems like the Raiders want to keep the team in place, see what happens. And I think these rumors should be shut down by the trade deadline. Devontae Adams recently spoke about the Raiders quarterback room. What was quite interesting is he said who he believes has the starting job for now. I think Aiden has the job because, you know, obviously he was here before and and that's the way that it was. He was running with the ones more and until Garner comes in and, you know, takes the job away from him is, I think, it's Aiden's job right now. As the Raiders head into training camp, it seems like the team and players like the Raiders are hoping that Aiden O'Connell can beat out somebody like Gardner Minshew and Minshew could just be an emergency quarterback in case the young O'Connell goes downhill. The ceiling of a QB like O'Connell, who's only in year two, is obviously higher than a veteran like Gardner Minshew. Devontae Adams' camp shutting down these Jets rumors should give the Raiders team team and their quarterbacks more optimism about the 2024 season. Let's hope one of these QBs, whether it be Aiden O'Connell or Minshew, could take advantage of this opportunity this year. My name is Wi-Fi Willie. Subscribe to the channel for more content from me. Peace out, and I hope you have a good one.